Amen. Thank you, God. May the peace of God be with you all in the name of Jesus. We thank God for giving us another week and another day for us to continue the program. Jesus said, watch out that no one deceive you. No, watch out. Some people have completed school and instead of looking for some job, they have gone to Bible school. After that, they have their lances as ministers. If you have a lances of a special program, you work for that. So those who have got lances as a minister should have a church. In order to have a church, you need to make sure you look for the message people out there are ready for, and you give it to them. And all of them are try one way or the other. Because if you want to go through God's way, and if God has not called you, there's no way you'll be successful. No. Because God will not support you. If you have not been called by God, and you want to do the work of God, you work under those that have been called by God. If you want to do it in your own way, you need to go to the other side. Work for the devil, but you cannot work for God. So that is why the Bible has been attacked. This one said it, this one did say it, this one said So here we are. We are bringing everything clear to the people of God. The few people here who want to know the truth. Wherever there is a truth, only few people can be found. So that is why that guy asked Jesus, are only a few people that is going to be saved? Because according to these teachings, you are brought to this earth or in this world. Only few people can take it. So let's focus on the truth with these few people that we have. If anyone is preaching or has a doctrine that as a woman, if you put earring, wedding ring, any chain, bracelet, whatever it is, any form of jewelry or ornament, you go to hell. No sweet that this person is one of the antichrist. The antichrist is living in human. The antichrist will not come next year, July. No, he's already here. He came with the devil, Satan himself. All of them are, are, are around with us. They are working through human believers that will be available. Antichrist don't work with the fitty preach or idolatry. He he work with the people of God, the ministers of God, the in churches. The whole problem we have in Christianity is the, the teachings of Antichrist. When Apostle Paul talked about the teaching of demon or things taught by demon, he was referring to the Antichrist. He, was, he is the one giving other side of the teachings. So we have let you know from the previous audio, last week audio that there were three reasons that God was against the Israelites and he commanded them to stop using them. And now we are here to know if it not because of their stubbornness, how God himself delighted to see his people wearing them in a, a nice and simple way. So we have ten reasons, jewelries, and earrings are not evil in God's sight. It is not evil. Though God doesn't have problem with them. The only problem is what they were using to do. So the ten reason number one. We are going, you know me, we are going into the scriptures from Old Testament to the New Testament. Anything that is stated in Old Testament and it repeated in the New Testament, don't do any argument about it. No matter how it's stated, don't try to do any argument. If you do so, you do so at your own risk, okay? Okay, number one. God accepted the offering of gold article 
of earring through Moses and other jewelry. Take your Bible, let's read Numbers chapter 31, 48 to 54. Numbers 31, 48 to 54. Then the officers who were over the unit of the army, the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, went to Moses and said to him, Your servant have counted the soldiers under our command, and not one is missing. So we have brought an we have brought as an offering to the Lord. We have brought as an offering to the Lord. We have brought something to, to the Lord Almighty as an offering. Let's see what will happen there. The gold articles each of us acquired, armlet, bracelet, signet ring, earring, necklace, to make atonement for ourselves before the Lord. Moses and Eliza, the priests, accepted from them the gold, all the craft, crafted articles, all the gold from the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds that Moses and Eliza presented as a gift to the Lord. Each soldier had taken plunder for himself. Moses and Eliza the priest accepted the gold from the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, brought it into the tent of meeting as a memorial for the Israelite before the Lord. I hope uh, for my fellow believers will read this scripture again by yourself. If these things are evil in the sight of God. Why did Moses accept it? He commended them for bringing this. They accepted for the Lord. They were God representative. So they accepted it. They embraced it. They liked it. Why they knew God liked it. So dearly beloved, come out from this evening. Jesus said, watch out. That no one deceive you. Amen. Number two. God himself commanded Israelite, his own people, to go and get them from the Egyptian. Egyptian. Go and get them. Exodus chapter 3, 21 to 22. Exodus 3, 21 to 22. And I will make the Egyptian Pharaohs disposed toward these people so that when you leave, you will not go empty handed. Every woman, every woman is to ask her neighbor and any woman living in her house for articles of silver and gold for clothing, which you put on your sons and daughters. And so you will plunder the Egyptian. Chapter 12, 35 and 36. The whole Exodus, the same Exodus, chapter 12, 35 and 36. The Israelites did as Moses instructed and asked the Egyptians for articles of silver and gold for and for clothing. The Lord had made the Egyptian favorably disposed toward their people, and they gave them what they asked for. So they plundered the Egyptian. God told Moses to tell the people to go to them. Go and get it. You know, there are certain things idols are using, Christians are using. There are certain things Idol, idol worshippers are using Christians should not use. I hope you get it. There are certain things idol worshippers, idolatry, idolation, those who are worshipping idols. Certain things they are using Christians don't use. Certain things are for everyone. Muslims, Buddhism, Hindus, Christian, pagans. So are certain things it's for human. And everyone is using one of them is still do this thing, earring. 
is for women. Women wear earring. You hear it? It is for women. It was created for women. Before you came to this earth, we don't know when when they started and who started. There are some articles that said 25,000 years ago. Some people said 90,000 years ago. I don't deal with that, but I know it is in the scriptures. Whether 25,000 years ago it started, whether 90 years ago, 1,000 years ago it started. What we know is the people that serve God in the Old Testament and the New Testament all use it. Why? Because God accepted them. That is number two. Number three, God knows and accepts a bride adorned herself with jewels. God knows. Let's go to the prophet Isaiah chapter 61 verse 10. Prophet Isaiah 61 verse number 10. God is aware that bride adorned herself. God knows that these are the things the bride used to adorn themselves. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garment of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. As a, as a bridegroom adorned his head like a priest, and as a bride adorned adorn herself, herself with her jewels. With her what? Jewels. God knew that this is what the bride used to prepare herself to come and meet the husband. Dearly beloved, if somebody tells you that I went to spiritual realm, God took me to heaven to tell me that anybody who uses it to go to hell, that person is not God, that not Almighty God, but demon God. It is demonic teaching, typical demonic teaching. When I first heard it, I did not ignore what is helping me in my Christian life is that I don't ignore any message. What did you say? What did you say God tell you? Okay, God said this and this and this and this. Okay. So I take your matter, I go to God. God, you said this, this, is it true? No, it's not true. Why is it not true? Bible quotation. So dearly beloved, that's how what I'm doing to worship God. Why is it not true? Then you give me the Bible quotation. And I'll put them down and bring it to you. So if you say you have a vision, you have a dream, you will die, I will not argue with you. I will take your message and go to God. Those that I know already, that one I can ignore. It. If I don't know and the message look like true, because when they started, it looked like it was true because of the three points I just stated. So if you know only these three points, you will stop using it. You will tell your church member to stop using them. But what about that? what I'm reading now? Okay. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 32. Jeremiah 2, 32. What does it say? It says, Does a young woman forget her jewelry, a bride, her wedding ornament? Yet my people have forgotten me, days without number. God is aware that this thing can never be forgotten in the life of a bride or a young woman. So if you have a young woman in your church and you want to tell them this, you are rather misleading them. Number four. God is very much aware and delighted that ring were used for a seal or a sign of rank, authority, and identification. The ring that we put in our fingers, they represent something. Exodus chapter 3 verse 12. Chapter 3 verse 12. What does it say? Then on the thirteenth day of the first month, the royal secretary, secretaries were summoned. They wrote out in the script of each province, in the language of each people, all humans, Order to the king, etc. 
the governors of the various provinces and the nobles of the various people, these were written in the name of the king Xerxes himself and sealed with his own ring. Sealed with his own ring. Chapter 8, verse 2, the same Exa, the book of Esther, chapter 8, 1 and 2. 1 and 2. That same day, King Xerxes gave Queen Exa the exit of Haman, the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came into the presence of the king. For Esther had told how he was related to her. The king took off his signet ring, which he had reclaimed from Haman, and presented it to Mordecai. And Esther appointed him over Haman as it. What does that ring stand for? Authority. Today I've given you this position, authority. Put it. So the ring you see in the hands of the people, it have the meaning. Some people are putting it because they are king. They have the king's one. Some people are queen. Some people because of the position they have been put. And some people for commitment. We have what we call wedding ring. It is the commitment that the people wearing it are committing to each other. Indicate to others that this woman going belongs to somebody. And you tell her all that she has done is to be committed to a man with this sign. And you're telling her that she will go to heaven for putting on wedding ring. You are doing, you are doing whether you know or not. That is a demonic teaching. That is a demonic teaching. Number five. God blessed Abraham with the jewelries of gold and silver. I told you last week that I will let you know that even Father Abraham, he had a lot of them. Things that people of God have and God was not angry with them. If you are condemning, you need to think twice, okay? You need to think twice. I think it's better people of God, the minister who have not gone for demonic sources for power. I wish all of us should use the scriptures properly. If you'll be able to manage 100 people, no problem. But I think the problem is because they don't work. Since they don't work, and that is what they will depend on it, they need more people in order to have their living. That's the whole problem. Those of you people who are listening to me, it makes sense. The reason why some people are using tricks to deceive people is that in order to get more people, in order for them to take care of their children in the university and the high school. Why? Because the more people you have, it show that or indicate how much you may earn. Why? Because they don't work. That is their job. They have completed high school or second or secondary school or university, and they have gone to Bible school, attended Bible school. They have their lances. So they prepare themselves to come and do this job. So they sit down and calculate what method should they use. I will not go to demon to get uh, powers. So then if you don't go to get powers, what, what can you do to get people? Then you look for the messages around. They will be listening to the messages around. around you. They are on the Facebook and YouTube listening. So they plan and calculate what they should come out with. So God wants me to sit down here. Anybody that will come out with wrong message, you'll be arrested with the scriptures. With the subject of those that are already condemned, that want to follow you. Some of them are agents of the devil. They are helping you so that ignorant members or ignorant believers will join. Most of the time, most of the time they start with the agent of the devil. Because some people need to help them to start. So when they help them to start, when you want to go to a church and then they are talking, they are talking, and you will go there. So they always start with some people. You do not have the truth. Father Abraham was blessed so much with this. 
Genesis chapter 24, verse 34, 35, and 53. 34, 35, and 53. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has blessed my master abundantly, and he has become worthy. He has given him sheep and cattle, silver and gold, male and female servant, and camel and donkey. God has blessed Abraham with silver and gold and all these things. 50, number 3. Then the servant brought out gold and silver jewel, jewelry, an article of clothing, and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave costly gift to her brother and to her mother. So Abraham had a lot. God had blessed him, so he had a lot, and for that matter, it can never be evil in the sight of God. If, if it is evil, God will not bless Abraham with it, okay? So please, let us avoid deceiving. We can, yes, we can, we can try to avoid them. If 10 people know from me here, and, they, and these 10 people want to go with it, 10 by 10, 10 times 10, how many? It is the evil that we are playing to ourselves. Some people who come here and listen, they know it is true, but that is that is all. When they had any other thing, they will share. But things like this, they don't share. May the Lord have mercy on these wicked people. That is why some people, when they are ministering, share, share, share the message, share the video, call somebody, share, share. Why? Because if you don't tell them, they will not share. I want the wise believer to do the right thing. Your people out there are being deceived. They are going through a lot of deceit. They have been confused. So it is your responsibility, as it is my responsibility, to get the message and give. He said you receive free, so give it free. But some people receive free, and then after that, they will show you where you should also go and donate to support the work they are doing, of which is not evil thing. But what is evil is that they are not feeding the people with the correct message. Jewelry, earrings and jewelry bring out woman, woman natural beauty. If you are a woman, and you don't want to put your, your earring or your jewels. Your beauty is there, but the one who put them will be brighter than you. We have it from the songs of songs. Song of song. Some people also say song of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Your cheeks are beautiful with earrings. Earrings make your be your cheeks very beautiful. Your neck with string of jewels. It will make you earrings of gold, studded with silver. The way earrings make your cheeks very beautiful, we are going to make them with gold. Bible is describing, clarifying it, praising it, commending it. What our women should do is to make sure they will not go into the territory, like I told you the other day. You have different, different, different ones. When you put earring from your ear to your neck, what does it mean? It means you are a prostitute. Even though the Bible did not clarify this and this and this. But why this long? Those prostitutes who are exposing themselves, who are selling themselves, they want attention. So when you see those long ones, it, it indicates to you that they are working. But you, you are not working 
and you do that. We have those that are for the queen, we have those that are for this and that, and we have the tribal ones. As I said, believer, just know your limit for identification people, for simple natural beauty people. Don't go beyond it. So maybe when you go beyond it and the Lord comes to your aid to help you, to draw your attention, that doesn't mean it is evil. So when you do it or when you put on, you go to hell, okay? So let us help ourselves. Number seven, the most upright person on earth in his time before Christ Jesus. Two, I hope you know Job right. He was comforted with the ring of God. Job was comforted with the ring of Job. Let's read that same Job chapter 42, 10 and 11. 10 and 11. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortune and gave him twice as much as he had before. And all his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted and consoled him over all the trouble the Lord had brought on him. And listen to the last sentence. And each one, and each one gave him a piece of silver and, and a gold ring. And each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. That is precious. Something that is valuable to appreciate God in his life. To restore their fellowship, the relationship. If it is evil, that same day that he will have received it, God will have appeared to him and tell him to drop it, throw them away. Yo, what have you received? Throw them away. But God knows that it is acceptable. They are very good things. God like it. Okay? So please, stop giving people wrong information. Number eight. Ten reasons God is not against them. Okay? Number eight. God knows and accepts chains are used to adorn the neck. Proverbs 1, 8 and 9. Proverbs chapter 1, 8 and 9. God knows and accept kings are used to adorn the neck. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. And a chain to adorn your neck. So when somebody put a chain, to adorn the neck, and you tell him that you go to hell, you are not speaking from Bible. Demons are giving you something to give to the people of God, and you should stop that, okay? God bless you. Number nine, and we'll say last but not the least. Last but one. Jesus Christ will have deceived Christians if rings and jewelries are evil thing, in case of if you are able to establish a point that those things are evil things in the sight of God and anyone that touches them will go to hell, that means Jesus Christ you claim you are serving him or you are doing his work who have deceived us a lot. He will have thrown at us away. Take your Bible, let's go to Luke chapter 15, 21 to 24. You have your Bible, let's go on. Whatever Bible you have, let's move on. Luke 15, 21 to 24, let's go. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servant, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put, listen here, put a ring on his finger and a sandals on his feet. 
Bring the fasting calf and kill it. Let have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. I was once lost, but now I am found. Amazing grace. He was talking about the parable of the lost son, the prodigal son. Who was lost and came home? When he came home, this is an illustration, an example. It wasn't, it wasn't an incident. So Jesus Christ was explaining the situation between God and the wayward people. That whenever, whenever you are, you become a wayward, a real rebel, you go out from God, you still have a chance to come back if you come to your senses. And that this incident, the boy left and he came back home. When he came, Jesus Christ was giving the description of situation like this. What should have been put on such person? Those things that were used to dress him. In other words, his best dress ring is part of it. Why something that is evil? Jesus mentioned it that you should use to dress somebody. Like I told you, anything that is stated in the Old Testament and it repeated in the New Testament, don't make any argument about it. So that is the point for you. And the last one, Jesus Christ. The last one is finally, if God is against the use of jewels, then he is also against the use of perfume and mirror. I read for you last week, or last video, Isaiah chapter uh, chapter 3, verse 16 to 23, where we read things that God said he was going to take it away from the people, from the women of Zion. He mentioned them in that day, let me read from verse 18. In that day, the Lord will snatch away the affinery, the bangle, the head bunches, and crescent, necklace, the earring, the bracelet, and the veil, the hairdressers, and the anklet, and the sashes, the perfume bottle, the charm, the signet ring, and the nose ring, the fine robe, and the capes, and cloaks, the purses, women purses. Do you use purses? That one also you go to hair. And mirrors, mirror. So, dearly beloved, if you take all this into consideration, there is only one answer that people should be very careful about. The people were using those things in the wrong way. They were using it in the wrong method. God Himself delighted they have it. But since they have been surrounded with the idol worshippers, and they have seen the, 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 the idols were made with it. So whenever they want to go wayward to have other God, they know it is made with this. And those earrings and jewelries were also made with gold. So beloved, that is what they use it for. And God says, stop it. In the Old Testament, Certain things were forbidden. In the New Testament, there is a king. So let me take you to Matthew chapter 19. There is a passage over there. Matthew chapter 19. If you have time and you read from 1 to 11, you'll get something over there. But I will use, I'll try to explain to you. Oh, let me quickly read it very fast. One to eight. Very fast. When Jesus has finished saying this thing, he left Galilee 
and went into the region of Judea to the other side of the Jordan. A large crowd followed him. He said to them, He healed them. He healed them there. Some Pharisees came to him to test him. They asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? Having you heard read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer one, two, but one, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no, no one separate. Why then, they asked, did Moses command that a man give his wife a certificate of divorce and send her away? Jesus replied, and this is the point I want you to mark it. Jesus replied to this question. Moses permitted you to, to divorce your wife because your heart were hard, but it was not this way from the beginning. That means, because of the way they were living, something changed to make sure, you know the reason why God gave them the law. Before the Jews, people worshipped God. There was no law for them. Abraham, Enoch, Noah, and the rest. Even their father Isaac, Jacob, and their children. There was no law. No. But the people were so stiff-necked, unreasonable, uncontrollable. So God decided, let me give them something. When God called, called Moses to go and lead their people, he did not give them any law. When you go, give them this law. No. They have been delivered and they were going happily. But because they were born in Egypt and all their life was, were, was in Egypt, so all that they knew was Egyptian lifestyle. And that is idol worshipping. They were idol worshippers. So their slave masters were idol worshippers. So they were trained or they, that's what they had known. So God said, let my people go so they can go and worship me. These people are not supposed to worship your idols. These people are not supposed to worship Satan. They should come and worship me. Let them go. So they, they, didn't, they, they didn't know how to worship God. But they knew how to worship idols. So whenever any opportunity they have, they will make idols. And God said, okay. What they used to do to build idols for them, take it away from them. It is those rings that were made of gold is what they join them together. They give it to the black men to prepare or to make a god for them. So they worship. Okay, if this is what they use, then take it away from them. So they are like, Jesus said, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your heart were hard. But it was not this way from the beginning. It was not this way. By the time Enoch, Abraham, Abraham and the rest were working with God, there was no law that you should not put on real ring or nothing. It is because of the people's heart. That is why God gave them the law to make sure they obey him. The law was given so that they would look at the law and worship God accordingly. accordingly. Because if there is no law, they cannot. What they have been used to, at all costs, they will disobey God. So the law was guiding them, what was guiding them, and Apostle Paul stated in the Galatians chapter 3. He said, before the coming of this faith, they were guarded by the law. So Jesus said, it wasn't this way from the beginning. But there was a change. The change came when the people became stiff-necked. When the people became uncontrollable. And God gave them this law. And then you said you want to worship God under the law. Curse on anyone who tried to worship God under the law. Let's go to the book of Colossians.
to let you know who you are now and what you should do. Colossians chapter 2, 8 to 10, and I'll skip 20, 18 to 23. Colossians chapter 2, 8 to 10, and then 18 to 23. But if you have time, you can read all. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world, rather than on Christ. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And also in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. Outside Christ, the laws are there. But in Christ, you have been brought to what? Fullness. That is why the scriptures say if anyone is in Christ, that, one, that person is a new creation. He has been recreated. He has been remodeled to become a new person. You have been brought to fullness. He is the head of every power and authority. Then from verse 18. Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you. Every day, angel, 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 angel. Such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen. About what? What they have seen. The people that are giving these people teachings, not that they study the scripture or the Holy Spirit tell them, oh, no. But that some people have seen it. They had a vision. Some people have revelations. Some people went into spiritual realm to meet God over there. And God, Jesus Christ, told them that anyone who put on this will go to hell. What, what? What they have seen. Do not let anyone who delight in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you, okay? Such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen. They go into great detail. So every day they have seen something. Every day they have seen something. Every day they have, they have seen something. So every day they see something. There's one lady that, ah, when I was watching, I said, ah, what is going on? She's, whatever she's saying, she was quoting all those wrong uh, method. The reason why he was, she will be quoting, she will be quoting, she will be quoting. Every day, God said, get ready, I'm going to take you to go. So God will tell her and then she will go to bed. And then God will take her, her so to the heaven to go. Hey, Christians are playing with salvation. Hey, he said they they go they goes into great detail of what they have seen. They are puffed up with idols, nothing by their unspiritual mind. They have lost connection with the head, from whom the whole body supported and held together by its ligament and sinew grows and God causes it to grow. Since you died with Christ to the elemental spiritual forces of this world, why as though you still belong to the world, do you submit to its rules? Do not handle it. Do not taste. Do not touch these rules which have to do with things that are all destined to parent with youth are based on merely human command and teachings. Such regulations indeed have an appearance of wisdom with their self-imposed worship, their false humility, and their harsh treatment of body. What is it? They are hard. Some people, if you see them, you say, ah, why? Because of Christianity. They don't want to go to hell. They don't want to go to hell. They don't want to go to hell when you see them. Ah, mama, what is this? She has found another church. And the minister is telling them this. They cut their hair. 
The glory has been taken away from them. All in the name of they want to go to hell. They don't want to go to hell. They heard that God is their glory. The pastor had told them that if you don't do natural, you go to hell. So you need to take it out and begin to, oh, mama, harsh treatment of their body. How treatment oh, of their body. Women. <laughs> Such regulations indeed have an appearance of wisdom with their self-imposed worship, their false humility, false humility, and their hard treatment of their body. But they lack any value in restraining sensual indulgence. If you know anybody who is going through this kind of teachings, following this kind of people, you can help them with this message. If you share, you have helped God and you have helped the people out there. I've delivered the message. I don't earn anything from it. Our people out there have been deceived. They are giving their body hard treatment. All in the name of they don't want to go to hell. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless his word. And I hope you also help somebody to know the truth that set free. My name is Paul Enchi. If you want any details, you have clarification, you want to know something that I've said that is so confused you, maybe you have also discovered something I do, I do not mention. Let us find out the truth. Let us help ourselves before it will be too late. The number you can reach me here is United States of America. So wherever you are, you put American code first. Then you continue with 832-805-2912. Last week, or last video, I will try to catch the time. I didn't know what happened. I became very confused of my last four digits of the number. You got it today. Reach me. Don't call send message or audio voice message and then let me know you before because I if I receive missed call or some of the calls that I don't have that I don't have the number I ignore them because of the embarrassment advertisement and the scammers so just write your message audio it and I'll get it God bless you 832-805-2912 so this subject is solved by the grace of God, if God permit, next week you go to another strange subject that is also deceiving a lot, a whole lot. We are here to use the scripture to help the people of God. Amen.